Morning, Glory America. Bonjour. Hi, Canada. Hugh Hewitt inside the relieffactor.com studio inside of the Beltway, where last night was peaceful indeed as I survey the morning news for an hour before the show. Uh, it's the first time in many weeks where I thought, well, things are kind of normal. Uh, there were big demonstrations yesterday. I watched them like you did. And in fact, I watched a lot of them. I got one of those great asthma attacks, which happens in northern Virginia when you run six miles in pollen, which I did after the show yesterday. And then, you know, by the end of it, I'm looking for the, uh, what do you call that little red thing that you you breathe? The inhaler. And so it just knocked me right on my back. And so I just watched, flip channels, watched the demonstrations. Big demonstrations, great to have demonstrations in America. Uh, as I said to a caller yesterday, I was at the March for Your Lives at demonstration. I supported the pink hat demonstration. I think demonstrations are great. It's the essence of the First Amendment, the right to assembly, the right to speech. They're great. The violence, I don't even know if there was violence last night. I'm looking, I read all the major papers this morning. This is the Wall Street Journal's account. Mass demonstrations across the United States gave way to a night of relative calm th- uh, Tuesday, in contrast to the destruction of recent nights. And so when you do what I do and you begin with the Times of Israel, go to the Financial Times, the Telegraph, then the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, you by that point you've spotted uh, if there's been any, any major breaking local story, and thus far not. There have been some awful stories from the previous days. The murder of the retired uh, police captain in St. Louis as he defended his store, uh, African-American man, uh, that just has traumatized St. Louis. There's been a lot of, of random violence, but I think President Trump and Bill Barr, backed up by National Guardsmen, uh, have sent a message. And the message was received yesterday. So big demonstrations, fine. Violence, not fine. And I wouldn't be surprised if we are even unaware of Antifa uh, and the Antifa's not that big. Detective Tom said yesterday, maybe 100 in the Bay Area, that they figured it out, that we've got their number. Uh, and by we, I mean people who abhor violence, not people who abhor demonstrations. I don't actually know anyone who abhors demonstrations. Most people appreciate it. But I'd like to know what you think. 1-800-520-1234. If you listen to this show much, you know I rarely... Rarely go to the phones early, but I'm just curious whether you agree with me. The fever broke. <clears throat> the uh, the average American is disgusted with the violence, disgusted with people like Bill de Blasio and other big city mayors who allowed it to happen in the first place. Now, I also happen to believe that uh, this unmasking of the hard left really has hurt the Democrats in November. By the way, last night, Steve King got booted out of Congress. <clears throat> not yet, it's just he won't be on the ballot. He's done. And that's good. He's been a man without a party for a long time, stripped by Leader McCarthy of all committee assignments. <clears throat> his uh, borderline racist rhetoric, his embrace of extreme arguments, long an embarrassment for the GOP. He got booted last night. Joni Ertz will be on the show, fresh off of her uh, primary win last night. She's a favorite for re-election in Iowa, but she's got a brand new book out called Daughter of the Heartland. She'll be here. Admiral Stav is coming along. Mike Gallagher from Wisconsin. Peter Baker of the New York Times. And Joni and uh, Tim Alberta of Politico will be here. But I'd like to hear what you have to say. Let me tell you, I also want to check markets earliest, uh, early today because I believe what's going to happen is a big rally today. Uh, this is brought to you, of course, by Birch Gold. Send my name, Hugh, H-U-G-H, to... 474747. 